Hey there, Jeff McAlka here at the Digital Health Summit live stage studio down on the show floor at CES. I'm joined right now with uh, Randy Kellogg of Amron Healthcare. Randy, thanks for taking some time to spend with us. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what Amron does. So I'm Chief Operating Officer of Amron Healthcare. We make blood pressure monitors and other heart monitors. We've been doing it for 40 years. Uh, here at the show today, we're showing our brand new uh, wrist monitor and upper arm monitor that uh, never been seen before okay. and showing them here the first time. So what's, uh, what's unique about them versus the ones that are so, out there on the market now? So what's unique is we've taken really standard technology that doctors, clinicians, and the FDA already agree with mm -hmm. and shrunk it down, miniaturized it to a size that makes it very convenient to put it on your wrist or to put it on your arm with no tubes, no extra anything. Mm -hmm. And it works very cleanly, very easily, and it's easy, easy for the patient to put it on. So uh, give me a use case of how a person would come to learn about the device and would, would they use it? Is it prescribed by their physician or are they out? Is it a consumer oriented uh, device? For most of the patients, probably 75% of them, their doctor says, you're hypertensive. I want you to start monitoring your blood pressure at home because monitoring blood pressure at home gives them a much better reading than just doing it one time in the doctor's with office. The, with the white coat effect. White coat effect yeah. and the fact you get multiple readings. Mm -hmm. One reading is not always efficient because your heart changes beat by beat, second by second. So we uh, work with doctors to get them to recommend blood pressure monitors and many of them recommend our blood pressure monitor. The patient goes to Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, wherever they buy, mm -hmm. buys a blood pressure monitor, takes it home and then follows the doctor's regimen, which is usually take three readings once in the morning, once in the afternoon, once in the evening, over a week, and then report that information back to me. Uh, so how are they getting that information to the doctor? Is it going over into an EHR? Is it being transmitted or on a printout? How, how in the old days, they'd write it on a piece yep. of paper. Now with our monitors, you can Bluetooth it to your phone. Yep. Your phone then puts it into a nice graphical format or into a list. You send it off to the physician by uh, email, and bingo, they have it. So we hear a lot of different things in the industry that physicians, while they love data, they're a little bit concerned about the influx of consumer-driven data and these sort of data points. So how do you um, how do you assure for the accuracy and quality of that data and how do you make sure that the, the physician himself is, or herself isn't getting overwhelmed with, with information? So from the overwhelmed standpoint, usually the physician's telling them how much data they want. Okay. Because they don't want every blood pressure reading for your entire life. They want for a certain period of time so they can check to see if your medication's accurate, if anything's changing, either right after an appointment or maybe right before your next appointment. Sure. We ensure accuracy by meeting the standards that have been set by the FDA and the medical community for medical devices. So ours is a FDA cleared 510K device. It gives real blood pressure. Mm -hmm. It's not an estimate, it's not a guess, it is real blood pressure. And doctors are very, very confident in our product. Absolutely fascinating. I'm afraid we're out of time. Thank but you if very people much. want to learn more about it or get in touch with you, how would they do so? AmronHealthcare.com is our website, uh, and that's the best place to get any of us. Okay, very good. I want to thank Randy for uh, coming and joining us and uh, giving us a little more information about Amron. I'm Jeff McCalka here for a Digital Health Summit Live studio here on the show floor at CES. Look forward to seeing you again next year. Thanks. Thank you. Nice job.